on the transmitter you have A, B, C, D, all tracks, flush start, and adjustable speed that adjusts in real time going from 2 seconds to 7 seconds to the left. If you go all the way to the right, this will put the system into a random time increment as it fires on the flush. Here you have an adjustable selector switch up to 100 clays as you can see here. To put the transmitter into pairing mode, press buttons 1, 4, 2 and 3 in a quick motion. You will see the lights start to flash alternatively. To pair track 1, press button 1 and you will see both LEDs flash once. After it starts to flash alternatively again, press the learn button on the first receiver you wish to pair. To pair track 2, press button 2 and you will see the LEDs flash twice. After it starts to flash alternatively again, press the learn button on the second receiver. You will see the LEDs flash once again just to signify the pairing has been complete. To, pr to pair track 3, do the same thing and you will see the LEDs flash three times. And finally, four flashes for track 4. Once you have finished pairing all your desired receivers, you can exit pairing mode by pressing the green all button. The transmitter is equipped with buttons A, B, C and D to release the traps on four separate traps. A, B, C, D. The traps here are indicated via the green LEDs. If you press the green all button after pairing, all the traps that have been paired will fire a single trap, as you can see. Using the counter dials, select the amount of clays between 1 and 100 that you wish to fire during the flush. These will be fired randomly out of the four or three or two receivers that you have paired into the flush system. If you select 0, zero on the dial, 100 clays will be released. For this example, we will shoot 15 clays. To enter flush mode, hold down the blue flush button for two seconds. Flush is started, signified on the transmitter by the LEDs. As you can see, as I start to move the receiver from random timing, to two seconds. Up to seven seconds. The speed dial works in real time, meaning during the flush, timings can be changed as desired. Once the LEDs on the transmitter stop flashing, this signifies that the flush has finished. We will now repeat the flush to show the randomness each time the flush button is pressed. For this demonstration, I will speed it up to two seconds. To erase the receivers paired to the trap shuffle transmitter, whilst in pairing mode, hold the green all button down for 10 seconds. When the two LEDs are both lit solidly, if you let go you will see it start to flicker and that will show that the transmitter has been erased. That will also exit pairing mode.